out across the North Country Saturday as spring has sprung in Jefferson, Lewis and St. Lawrence County. We start there in Canton as one group hosted an Earth Day electric and hybrid vehicle car show. 7 News reporter Sean Brenda tells us how these owners are embracing their electric rides. Electric cars lined up alongside each other Saturday at Neville Dean Hall on SUNY Canton's campus. The cause to promote the benefits of switching from gas vehicles to electric. Vehicles on site included Priuses, plug-in hybrids, Teslas, and a few Chevy Bolts. Ginger Story Welch says her Bolt is only a few years old. She says she saved money driving it and has data to prove it. In 2022, we drove this car, the Bolt, 17,355 miles and it cost us $493 in electricity. Ginger Story Welch left her Prius plug-in hybrid at home. She says they only won 10,700 miles with it, but spent more than $686 in gas. When it comes to fueling, gas-powered vehicles and electric vehicles are very different economically. With gas-powered vehicles, you spend almost hundreds of dollars a year at the pump alone. But with an electric vehicle, you're only spending a few cents recharging with these battery packs. Drivers say charging stations are becoming more prevalent across the country. Tesla Model 3 owner Bob Penske says he's been able to charge his at home using his own solar array. We know quite well what our, what our costs are, and it's just about two cents a mile to run an electric car that you charge with your own solar. With electric vehicles becoming more affordable, Penske says the national effort to reduce emissions is justifiable with the amount of emissions a gas car can produce. Every mile that you drive a gasoline engine, you're producing 10 cubic feet of exhaust that's polluting the air we breathe. These drivers say they're driving greener for a brighter future. Sean Brinda, 7 News.